It's what I've been waiting for. It's what I've always wanted. Chaz has always wanted to listen to the video titled Why 90% of Men Don't Approach Women. A lot of women are struggling with loneliness. Let's begin. Okay, I'm so sorry, but just, I need to rant for a second. I hate being a woman. I'm <laughs> based, <laughs> based, based, based. I'm over it. I'm just so over the fact that I have to be so concerned about what I'm wearing in public. Example, I was just at the gym, wanted to go to Target after the gym. Yeah, just because go, I wanted... Don't go in public then. How about that? Yeah, it's, just wear a sweatshirt. It's, come on. Pick up a couple things before I came home. But no, I have to come home, change, and then go. And the reason I'm... Maybe because you dress like a salute at the gym. Maybe if you didn't dress like a salute at the gym, you could go to Target after the gym. But you need to dress like a salute at the gym because you want male attention from guys that lift. But you don't want male attention from guys that don't lift at Target. So now you got to change. I'm pissed off right now is I just wanted to stop at Target right now. And I literally was about to. And then I was like, no, you should go home and change. And here I am. I'm home. And I'm about to go and change before I go back out to go back to Target. Literally, even though it was right next to the gym. Because I just don't want to deal with it. And because I feel like as a woman, you have to cover up to like deter unwanted attention. I mean, if chronic, men dress got... like women dress at the gym, it'd be like banana hammocks. You know what would be a very easy fix to this whole thing? You get a set of clothing that you change into when you're done at the gym, right? Because mm. they have bathrooms and shit. Yeah. I'm, like if you're going to a big, you know, chain gym, I'm sure that there's at least, you know, a cubicle stall that you could change your into like your fresh clothes. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. But hey, Chronic, you know what women do a lot that they love doing? Making a big deal out of something that doesn't fucking matter. Complaining. Complaining. There you go. Yeah. No, it, like even if it's a one-on-one -on -one, one -one equivalent, if I wore the booty shorts that women wear at the gym to Target, I would be – actually, I probably would get kicked out of the Target. Huh. Let's continue. Not like some places where you don't have to cover up. I do not wish to see what you wear of changing, changing. Back to the, let's start right away. Can somebody please tell me since bloody when it is okay to say that you're six foot tall when you're actually five eight? Why is it okay for you to use I'm makeup? Fi I'm five eight when I'm six foot tall when I sit on my tippy why, toe. Why is it okay for you to use makeup? Why is it okay for you to use, for you to use Instagram filters? You're saying it's bad when men lie about themselves on a date? Well, well, honey, take the makeup off. Hmm? Take the contour off. Take it off. That's literally fraud. Like, I get it. If you're 5'11", you need to put, like, your six foot on your dating profile. Sure. You you do what you got to do, boo. I, I can even understand that if you're 5'10", that you need to put six foot. But when you're 5'8", and you put six foot, like... Honey, what are you trying to hide? There's no way of... What are you trying to hide with makeup? What are you trying to hide with breast implants? What are you trying to hide with contour clothing? Huh. Goes both ways. What? Like, I'm actually so upset. See, I didn't even take off... What's the most important part of somebody's body for you to fall in love with them, Chess? Uh, I mean, in all honesty, probably the face, yep. right? Like The face. If they, the if face. they got... You know, if a chick doesn't have like you know A or B cups or you know not big ass, I'm like, okay, cool, like wh whatever, right? She's it, hopefully she's she's still tight, but like her face matters, right? Does she have bad acne? Are her teeth fucked up? Are right? her eyes pointed in two different directions? Exactly. Yeah. So men lie she's about perfect. how tall they are. Women lie about their face. That's yeah. much worse. That's much worse off my coat i just cannot wait to rent tiktok about this the guy had zero personality you're one to speak you're really complaining about a man's height english speaking asian who has been infected with hypergamy you know what i bet she went on a date that of a guy that wasn't asian she wants tall white chad she wants tall black chad she she refuses to date short people from her ethnicity because she is short She's an Asian woman, probably short. She refuses to date Asian men taller than her, but still considers short next to white Chad. And so she's here roasting dudes that lie about how tall they are as she rejects the men 
from her ethnicity. She rejects her father. It's disgusting. Asian liberal women in the West are disgusting to me. He's shorter than me. The food was mediocre. Like, we had salmon, but it's mediocre. How was that his fault? <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> How was that his fault? What the what? <laughs> Yo, we would go to back in the kitchen and show them how to cook. Sucked ass. You're it's the woman. If you expect men to be taller and stronger than you, you should be cooking. Huh? <laughs> the I cannot we got believe were soggy. I it's all his fault. Yep. Wasted my precious relaxing Sunday night, and I put on makeup for this. I like. Yeah, she you're put, lying she about your face. For it. Lying. It took me an hour to get ready. What? The guy lied about how. Yeah. Slid in my DMs and asked if I wanted to get dinner with him. For every. Like nails to hide their belly flops and so on. Okay, so a guy that I've had a crush on forever. My worst date ever. Okay. Slid in my DMs and asked if I wanted to get dinner with him. And I was. Oh my god, I was so excited. So I told all my friends and they were so excited for me. I mean, like this ever ever this is just a super popular guy and everyone likes him. He's so cute, so nice. I could not believe that this guy was like cold open asking me on a date, but I was so excited. I was like, well, I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna show up. So I get ready, I show up to the restaurant, he's already there. I asked where he was sitting, and then I, I couldn't find him anywhere, and I look around, I see him sitting in the corner at a table with another girl. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Um, amazing. So, a guy, his worst date story is probably that she didn't even show up, right? No, that no, 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 no. Do you want to hear my worst date story? Yeah, please go. I went, I drove 40 minutes south to pick up this chick because she had big titties. I'm mm, trying to get it in. And date was going good. Glasses, brunette, short hair, big titties. She's bragging about how good she is at riding. I'm like, mm, she had a dick good. and balls. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. She's sitting on my lap at the park, talking about things, wiggling around, grabbing me. And then I'm like, you know, like, what was the worst? I, I say these questions to know about them. Like, what's the most trouble you ever gotten as a kid? She says, well, when I was 12, my dad caught me in the attic cutting off the heads of pigeons. What? Bro. What? Bro. Bro. I'm like... <laughs> instantly horny to terrified and i just like oh. nod along said ha 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 we 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 get, leave the park and i'm like it's getting kind of late let me drop off your house They're like don't you want to get ice cream i'm like no i'm on a diet so i drop her off and i ghost her i say well i didn't ghost her i said hey i don't think it's gonna work out blah blah blah, blah whatever blocked all her stuff two weeks later two weeks later i get a letter from her i never gave her my address bro no, what? I never gave her my address, and the letter is talking about how I'm such a bad person. She hates me. She thought we had something special. She thinks I should like trip in front of traffic, and you know, she said I'm not gonna be the one to do it, but you should get stabbed. That's how she ended the letter. Right? Bullshit. She wanted to do it so bad, dude. I showed the security guard at the at the apartment complex that that letter. And this is fat Mexican guy's like, oh, geez, man, you're going to get fucking killed. And I looked at him and was like, not if you do your fucking job, bro. <laughs> he literally told you, damn. I'm like, you suck. security, bro. I'm like, don't let her in. I'm like, come on. I showed him a picture of her face and everything. He's like, oh, she's hot. And I'm like, but read this. Oh, man. Yeah. I but moved since then. Date. But that was my worst fucking date, bro. Yeah. Her worst date. It, think, look at her. So back to her. She has a crush on the guy for the longest time. Look at her face. Can you can you tell how entitled women are by how they look? Yes, you can. This chick thinks she's an eleven out of ten. She thinks she's the ten. Of, this is peak Stacy. This is what Stacy is right here. White chick, fake blonde hair, blue eyes, lip injections, ridiculous amount of makeup. She thinks she's a ten out of ten, right? Right. Who do you think she has a crush on? Uh, six 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 devil Chad. Chad, and she's shocked. She went to the restaurant and there was another girl there. I bet he asked her for a three-way. Let's start. So I, what do you do? I don't know what to do. And I was like, oh, maybe it's definitely just like, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, hi! Ads, 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 ads. 
Yeah, too many Sorry, ads. I always get so excited when I see an ad, right? Because I, I'm, I'm conditioned to it. Actually, I don't know why I'm trying to narrate what I was saying. I just walked over to the table and he was like, hi, this is my friend. And I was like, okay. Like, I thought maybe she was just, I don't know, passing by. Nope. So I sit down at this table and he's like, how are you? And I'm like, good. How are you guys? Plural. He was like, oh, we're good. And then he starts just talking to her. Doesn't give me any intro, any explanation. I'm confused. I really at this point still thought that maybe she was just. Chad wants a three way. You fall in love with a man that has thousands of women just like you wanting to sleep with him. You are not worth, she thinks she's a 10 out of 10. She thinks she's worth gold. She isn't worth shit to Chad because there's a million women like her willing to give up their bodies to him. So at the very best, she could be the second string in a three way. Like walking by and like happened to know him. But also she was like very comfortable in her seat. She also, then she ordered a drink. She ordered a drink. So it was like, oh my God, I'm, are, is this like a two on one? Are we like on The Bachelor right now? Imagine. Did he ask you on a date or say, hey, you want to get dinner? Maybe you just want dinner with friends or with easy sleuths that want to get in bed with him. A guy you really like asks you on a date and you show up and he's also on a date with another girl at the same time. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know what to do. And it's not even like it was like a group like thing because she wasn't talking to me at all. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you and the other Stacy were competing for Chad Schlong. That's what you're doing. I'm mad too. The waiter comes and asks what we want to eat. And I was like, this is definitely her cue. Like she definitely has somewhere more important to be. Nope. Nope. She orders an entree. So the three of us go on a date. We're on a date together. And the entire. He still went on a date so, with both of them. So, so she stayed. Yep. Right. She stayed. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I was literally in shock. Like, I didn't know. And then I started gaslighting myself. I was like, wait, why did I think this is a date? Like, it's definitely just a fun group thing. But what kind of fun group thing is that when neither of them are really even talking to me? Neither of them are even talking to me. So you're there to hold the camera, baby. You're there to hold the camera. And also a single guy asking a single girl to get dinner with her. Isn't that, isn't that a date, right? I don't know. That's a date. So now it's time to leave. And I mean, I feel like I did not. She stayed for the entire dinner, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, because he was obviously going to pay for her, right? Yeah. So well, why would she pass up a four food? Four words to this guy, but he asked if I wanted to ride home. And I was like, yeah, sure. I'm down. We get in the car and he kisses me. So what are, what are. So you kiss him back. So you kiss him back. What is it, what is it? He kisses me and you don't say you stopped him. It means you kissed him back. What is this? Or was that a date? I don't know. No, it's a three-way. I was in shock. I don't even know why I let him kiss me when he, I went. That was the weirdest thing I've ever done. After, he texted me and asked me what I thought about his Instagram. And I was like, it's a guy's Instagram. What do you want me to say? And he was like, no, I mean, like, I've been thinking about hiring someone to run my Instagram. And I was like, so that was a group interview to win a job, I guess, and someone to make out with? Why did he make out with me if he was trying to hire me? Because he's horny. But 10 minutes, by the way. So you sat in the car with his other late... Uh, wait. You went on a three-way date. And then he drove you home. And you made out with him for 10 minutes in the car. And then he said he wants to hire you to run his Instagram. This is Instagram Chad. Okay. There's Chad. And then there's Chad who's attractive enough to have an Instagram big enough that he will hire someone to run it for him. You, you, you shocked that social media Chad used you and made out with you. And you said, I don't even know why I kissed him. You kissed him for 10 minutes. That's not kissing. That's making out. That's tongue boxing. <laughs> this is like, just, I know women that look like this. I don't care how perfect their bikini body are or is. I don't care how much they puff their lips out, the, the contours, how much they squat, they, how big their booties are. I look at their face and I know they have been smurfed out. They're, this entire thing is disgusting to me. Like, Chaz, a woman who made this video ever. Like the the ten out of, imagine a woman who's a ten out of ten physically for you. Okay. And then you saw that she made this video before she met you. Would you marry her? No. Would you date I, her? I, I, no. I date her just to bang her, but I like, <laughs> that's about it. Like, like no, I. In all honesty, me personally, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't even try to smash. It'd just be one of those things where I know for a fact it, I would get nothing good out of it. 
right? Like it, it wouldn't do me any good. I would be better off just in that immediate moment, ghosting, blocking. Wait, you don't want on. you don't want gonorrhea. No. Ah, huh. funny. Right. Let's continue. So yeah, Tyrone. Yep. Yep. If you, want support, if you want to support the show, <laughs> consider donating to Cash App. Cash Sign Under Chronic. That's Cash App. Cash Sign Under Chronic. If you want more content like this, if you want red pilled video game content, consider subscribing to Kite and Chaz. The link is in the description.